Hi, my name is Michael Trout. I'm in front of our first beehive for Beekeeping Japan. It's a social venture and ultimately we want to help the bees and we want to help the tsunami victims and those of the nuclear reactor by providing them nectar of the gods, honey. So my goal is to set up for the first year, I don't want to you know set up, I mean I'm I'm new at this, so I think um, I'd be scared to manage anything more than 10 hives, okay? And I do have resources of, you know, a beekeeper nearby who can help, um, you know, and, and, be, and be part uh, if I have any questions and stuff as we set up. I need a partner that understands beekeeping. I need someone who's been in the industry a long time that can mentor me, can, um, you know, I can take videos. I've got lots of videos and, um, you know, it may be like take a video and then explain it. Like, okay, you know, um, uh, shoot a video for me and put it up there, whatever. We'll do a lot of video communications probably. Um, and um, I'm willing to put in the time and efforts. Um, I'm putting in the labor, the time, I'm looking for someone to put in $10,000 to be a partner, co-founder of Beekeeping Japan. There probably will be no return for the first three years, Ex expect that. Um, and then after that, we would, uh, you, know, uh, you know, seek to actually start making a profit. But I think the first three years, it's about growing the business, it's about um, you know, um, getting exposure, the marketing. I'm a marketing guy, so my marketing angle is very simple. We give B products away. We have a website. I have developers. We can get the website up. That basically, someone makes a ten dollar contribution, and they get their name or their picture on the jar to a tsunami victim or family, and um, we will use um, the established network of um, uh, volunteers to get it up to the victims and to the shelters. There are still people in shelters here. So ultimately, um, you know, the first year is marketing and learning for me, you know, going through it. Uh, the second year uh, will be a little growth. I'd like to try to get to like maybe 25, um, you know, um, uh, beehives and then just keep adding maybe 25 a year. Um, we'll start delivering. Um, there is a beef, uh, there's actually a strawberry farmer over there, Mr. Ito, and, and we probably can get some customers locally because of the contacts that I have. Um, few my father is a farmer of, you know, of folks that need bees. So we can start moving the hides, hi, um, hives around to them. Um, you know, it, they charge, uh, you know, just to have a hide, hive in place, uh, like a uh, five hundred dollars uh, for just the, just for that little bit of uh, season, for one hive with four thousand bees in it. Um, so, what we can do is start small, get it built up. Um, you know, figure out a good marketing plan. The, the main thing is, you know, get it going. We got to get bees in here, and and um, the thing that I have is I don't have the cash flow to uh, get it going. I have the the labor, I've got the land, I've got the the passion, the the flowers, everything. So if you're interested in you know being part of a social venture, being part of something that's going to help and and provide. Um, um, enjoyment to people who have lost everything, then uh, contact me at mike at foundups.org. Thanks.